Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to Mythgard and Middle-Earth. My name is Corey Olson, the Tolkien Professor, joined as always by my friend Grifflet, who is preparing to explore the Osgiliath culverts, drive away the last remnants of the forces of Morgul who are lurking here in the culverts, and then moving on, hopefully, towards North Athelion. The goal, my goal is to get into North Athelion today, so we'll see how we do. Um, uh, sorry, apologies today uh, for being late in starting up my stream. I uh, had to, it was uh, Little Miss Pixie's spa day today. Um, I had to uh, take her to the groomers and, well, no, it was picking her up from the groomers. That was really the issue. Um, should she deign to join me today, you will get to see how gorgeous she is now. Um, but um, that I, I deem that unlikely, as she will she is probably collapsed in exhaustion from the excitement uh, of her spa day upstairs. Um, so, um, let us get back into things here. Grifflet is ready for his big return to the culverts, and I am now certainly glad I did not go out of my way to uh, uh, explore the culverts before. I suspected that. A uh, quest would bring us this way, but let's let's see. Let's uh, stealth up. I'm searching for the enemy hideout, is what I'm doing. Okay, so this is the old ranger hideout, and they haven't just taken it over. And in their defense, there's not much really here anyway, so. Okay, right, and there's the way I came in, the other route, so my choice of left or right there at first was not very meaningful. Okay, hang on. I'm going to do my normal approach. So for, I'm just trying to map things out fairly consistently here. Um, and I'm going to go right. If it's possible, and it is not. Good. See? Glad I did that. All right. I wonder... So this was... The evidence of the, this uh, hideout was betrayed to me by the Variags. Um, a large Morgul raiding party is hiding down, hiding down here. Okay. Uh, defeat foes in the culverts and defeat Kamabil. Kama. How do you pronounce B H? I'm not remembering that if I ever knew. But all right, let's see. So we've got uh, the like a V maybe. Kamavil. Kamavil. All right, I'm going to sneak, oh, okay, fine. Great, so that guy spots me just in time to alert the troll of my presence as well, huh? And then this troll is going to get me just in time to uh, delay me for the second troll to come along. So that's delightful. Fine. It's fine. So like my debate had been, you know, do I, um, do I start in on my 12 first or do I move past? And my answer is move past, but obviously. I didn't move past quite stealthily enough. What's the level on these dudes? 105 still. Okay. Watching my XP. I think once I get up past the blue today, I will stop. All right. So. Yeah. For reasons like we just saw, I don't generally have to go out of my way just to start killing things. So I think what I'm going to do is look for Kamaville. Kamaville. And 
And then if after I take him out, I still, oh yeah, I remember, uh, see, exactly. I think I'm gonna end up with plenty of folks here. Okay. I am now remembering the layout of this a little bit. Yeah, this I was only back here in the instance, wasn't I? So if I'm remembering the geography from the instance, oh, maybe it's not the same. No, I think it is. Okay, nice little Sauron. Nice of them to erect a Sauron shrine. Maybe they already had done so. Hmm. Nice. Good to see those archers are pretty inattentive. Is there a way down over here? Do I just jump? What's the story? No, oh, I didn't even think I would need to do my uh, jumping skill. Barely did. It's fine. Okay. Oh wait, this is where I came in. Huh? I think it's not. I think it's. I think that I am in fact getting misled by my memories of the instance. I don't think the geography is the same up here. Alright. So it sounds like an Easterling leader. Kamabil sounds Easterlingish. Man, Grifflet is so fast in stealth, it just makes me so happy. All right. Is there any way through up here? Yes. Some cheering folks. Who's that? Who's the, who's the cheerful fellow? It's him! Okay. He seems really enthused for somebody whose army just lost the battle. But, you know... So that's it, huh? All right, then I think what I'll do is I'll take out the four dudes who are right here. Oh. Okay. And then just, just to make sure that nothing else pops up. Let's see if I can one-shot at least one of these dudes. Nice. Okay. Would have been satisfying to have that happen with number 12, but it's all right. That's it. Good. 
and then I'll pretend he's not back immediately. That's fine. Hey there, Mabung. What do you think? Ooh. Good work. You have helped us to secure Osgiliath and made safe passage for the host of the West. You hear my plight? Okay. So that's it, huh? No problem. A vanguard of Lord Aragorn's host has passed through Osgiliath and has gone to the crossroads. Angbor, Lord of Lamadon, seeks these men in securing that place and preparing the way. I deem it is an undertaking that will require many hands. I'd be delighted to go to the crossroads, Mablung. Absolutely. Let's do the crossroads quest. Hang on a second. Let me just check my deed list. Oh, Oligo, sorry about that. Yeah, no, this is not, uh, this is not Cordovan, in fact. Yeah, I apologize for that. Uh, Druids, for the very thoughtful and always attentive Druids Fire is usually the one who changes the stream title. So I, I, it, I didn't even look at it. It never even occurred to me. Um, yeah, sorry about that. Um, Um, yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, I don't even, yeah, I'm not going to, I'm not going to try to mess with it. It'll get changed. Apologies for today. Today is an unusual day. What was I just going to do? Oh, that's not what I was just going to do. What I was just going to do was this was to look in my deed log. For March of the King? Yes. Okay. So the quest of the Pelinor is part of the quest of North Athelion broadly. I wanted to see oh Osgiliath and the Crossroads. Okay, so those are those are combined together. Right. Cool. All right. Let us... Um, so that'll be my goal for the afternoon. My goal for the afternoon will be to do the... Uh, complete the Crossroads quests. If only there were time to wander the archives... Orthon, the frustrated scholar, wishing he had more library time. Okay, Gandalf. Hi, Shadowfax. You have caused an impressive amount of noise. <laughs> more than your size might indicate. The trumpeters will announce the arrival of King Alessar as his army marches through Athelion. None will miss these tidings. Sauron will not fail to heed this march, Griffoot. The Prince of Dal Amroth has rightly pointed out that the size of this army is too small to pose a serious challenge to the host that lies within Mordor, but that in itself will draw his gaze hither. He will think that Aragorn possesses the ring, and believe that it will bring him the power he needs to overthrow Sauron. He will think this because that is the action he would take were their positions reversed. The army will march slowly, but it will march loudly, and that is the best gift we can give to Frodo right now. I hope beyond hope that he is able to make use of that gift, and that it does not come too late for him.
was lovely. Just the grandeur of uh, the march. Excellent. All right. Well, that was awesome, Gandalf. What do you got for me now? Representatives from every land stand with the host of the West. Ha <laughs> ha! Elves, dwarves, men, and hobbits, just like, of course, the uh, the War of the Last Alliance, which is what he's referring to. Young Master Brandybuck recovers still from his wounds, secure in the House of Healing. So it falls to you and Peregrine Took to ride with Aragorn as representatives of the Shire Folk. He rides just ahead to the east if you wish to speak with him on the way to the crossroads of the King. Sure, that'd be great. All right, Book Seven, Chapter Five, The Garden of Gondor. All right, oh, hang on, Stable Master. These are troublesome times indeed. Okay, and that completes... What Stable Master is this? I've got a Norian after battle. It's North Ithilien? Ithilien. Okay. Got it. So there are two more. Camp of the Host and Henneth Anun. Right. Wait a second. Wait a second. Okay. So Henneth Anun is in North Gondor. Yes. Right. Okay. Cool. Cool. Um... And you're right, JJ. The, the two the two hobbits with the army is twice as much representation as the elves and dwarves get. Um, well, if you count Eladon and Elro here, which I think we have to, um, that puts the elves up to a whopping three, I believe. Um, yeah, exactly. Joe Snake was just saying the same thing. Okay. Yeah, it's funny. I, so Henneth Anun, of course, is a is a, a an excellent sightseeing location. So I've been to Henneth Anun many times, and so I'd forgotten that like Grifflet hasn't actually been there yet. But all right, we're gonna do the crossroads first, and then we'll get Bar Aroth, Island Veren, Kyra Andros, of course, Henneth Anun, Kirith Negin, Bar Tarnaher, and then Aragorn's camp at Torngroth. Very cool. Lots of stuff here. Okay, cool, cool. Thank you, Stable Master. Hang on, who's over here? Oh, it's Pippin. You're just hanging out on a pony? What have I gotten myself into now, I wonder? Aragorn says that it is good for every land to be represented when we go to confront the enemy in Mordor, but I don't feel like a fit representative for the Shire. Who from home would be comfortable walking up to the front gate of Mordor and hollering and carrying on? Lobelia Sackville Baggins, maybe, or that Lotho, but certainly not me, Griffith. Perhaps you feel differently, being the great adventurer that you are. I wish Merry were here, but he is still recovering in this city. He has done his share of great deeds, but what have I done? Gandalf says I might have saved Faramir's life, and I am glad that whatever small part I played might have helped, but I certainly, I certainly didn't feel like much of a hero at the time. Understood, Pippin. It's interesting, of course, we remember that Pippin is, in fact, the son of the Thane of the Shire. Um, really, on one level, it's impossible to imagine a more fit representative. Like, if you actually sort of went to the Shire and tried to figure who would be a good representative, you know, um, it would, um, you know, Pippin. Pippin would be a really great choice there. Um, okay. Now, you have to be really careful because we've entered into a very dangerous area. And this is the area where the, the bushes here are just full of Mumakil. 
you just you just gotta always be on your guard because they're everywhere they hide through here so i'm uh i'm constantly aware of my peril here hey look it's angbor the fearless with his friends herb master and herbalist and there is the headless king have we started to uh Oh, what is his arrow going up ahead? Yeah, it is. Okay. Who's this guy? Kellabram. Okay, Kellabram. Oh, no, he's still not he's not headless yet. He still has the orc head on. Okay. So there's the orc head. Does the orc head have like a fake crown on it? What's what's on like the gold stuff? Is that a deliberate decoration? <laughs> you know, I have to admit, the way that they've done the um, Eye of Mortar on the boulder is that, like, the bo I keep seeing the bottom of the eye of Sauron as a smiley face. <laughs> so I'm, um, like, I'm seeing this is the smiley face mouth. Uh, that, like, there's, like, a cross for the nose and then, like, the two eyes up here. Um, and it looks kind of cheerful. Yeah, with the eyelashes. Exactly. You know, if I see it in that way, it doesn't look disgusting. It looks, or, like, mocking. I mean, it's still kind of mocking. Like a big, fat, boulder head with a, uh, a, a dorky, smiley face. But still... Um, Sauron says, have a nice day. Exactly. It's like, hi! Welcome to the borders of Mordor. Ah, we've erected a ladder already. Okay. All right. I gotta, I, I gotta go collect my quests, though. There'll be time for more sightseeing. Hang on, Aragorn. Be right back. Gotta talk to Angbor. Ah, Griffith, here we are, so close to the dreaded stronghold. If I did not have my orders from Lord Aragorn, I would march up to the gates of Minas Morgul and rap at the bars with my blade. Let them know fear for a change. Why, well, Angbor's letting his new title really go to his head, right? That is how I feel, yet my men still tremble and seem downcast when they glance that way. Have I told you how, when I ousted the Haradrim from Losarnach, not a single of my men died? It is true. <laughs> right? <laughs> it's like... Let me interrupt my boasting to boast about something else for a second that is not really related to what I was just boasting about. Take a look at that statue up there. My men are restoring it rightfully to a symbol of hope. I was I've been so looking I've been looking forward to these quests for years. The helping to restore the uh to like restore the statue. Hey Aragorn. I'm going to look at the statue. What do you think? Certainly in need of repair. Totally agree. What's your opinion, Aragorn? I have set trumpeters in each of the roads that lead to these new ways. The armies of the enemy have done what they could to despoil the beauty of this land, but Athelion resists their deprivations. It was once called the Garden of Gondor, and so may it be again. I have set trumpeters at each of the roads that leave the meeting, this meeting of the ways. As Gandalf recommended, we will sound our arrival and our intentions. Speak to each of the trumpeters, and they will herald our coming. Once this is done, you should move ahead of the host and defeat any enemies you find lurking still in the wild. Men of Gondor have told me that a ranger encampment is not far to the north, at a place called Henneth Anun. We will meet there. Great. Okay, so now here's the question. What are the heralds going to announce? Um, my suspicion is that they're going to say that, like, the lords of the West or the captains of the West have come. Because you'll remember in the book, there's that shift, right? That's what they start off announcing. And then I believe it's Prince Imrahil, if I'm remembering correctly, says, say not the lords of the West are come. Say the king of Lessar has come for, like... He hasn't been crowned, but it's still true. Right. Um, so let's see. Calibron, what do you have to say? 
The Lords of Gondor. Yep. The Lords of Gondor have returned and take back all these lands. Yes, that was Aragorn's initial instruction. So we'll have to see. I assume, I trust that they're going to do that. That, that like, In fact, I may even be the one to convey the suggestion, right? That, that sounds like a job that they might give to the PCs as a kind of a go-between in that, uh, uh, in that little shift there. So I look forward to that. As you can see, the orcs defiled the statue. It is hard work restoring hope when you have none of your own. Would you help these men out and raise their spirits as they restore the statue? So I get to encourage the people who are working to encourage everybody else? Love it. Stay a moment, Grifflet. Aragorn has asked me to make his coming known to what Morgul orcs have regrouped in nearby Athelion, so that word may be spread among their loathsome kind. If it were you who stood before them and proclaimed the true king of Gondor returning, I vouch it would strike some fear into their hearts. I honestly not tracking with you there, Angbor. Like, I'm not saying Grifflet isn't terrifying, but like he's not like intrinsically terrifying. Probably if they just see him from a distance, they're not going to be horrible. If I'd, but we'll see. Anyway, okay. It might even put some bravery into the chests of my men here at the crossroads. Okay. Tell the Morgul lurkers of the king's approach. Yeah, I was wondering about that, Phil. I'm supposed to convey the message to eight and defeat four of them. So what exactly does that mean? Does that mean that I have to kill four and communicate to eight others? Or do I communicate to eight of them and then make sure I don't kill it more than four in the process? Like, that's... I'm a little... a little uncertain about that. I have to admit. Like, what happens if I kill five of them? Do I have to tell others? Like, the King Alessar. Ooh, we do have the King Alessar here. Okay, so maybe we won't get that as a separate quest. Oh, it's the ranger who does that. Yeah, Kulang. Was the, tr the, was the trumpeter quest on the epic line? Because I'm noticing these are, of course, the very dudes that we just recruited, the four dudes we just recruited. Um... So I assume that must have been on the epic line. It wasn't. I didn't. I know they're the same guys. But I, I didn't remember it being on the epic. I thought it was a, you know, one of the landscape quests. Anyway. Okay, Rue here. The King of SR has come. Okay. Okay. Oh, I was kind of hoping I would get to be part of that transaction. That's oh, okay. Oh, right, of course. Gandalf made reference to the trumpeters, so presumably, yeah, that makes sense. Okay. It is one... One consequence of doing them in parallel like this, which is, you know, on the one hand, you gain something in that you get sort of more context behind, you know, the one sort of the thin line of the the epic quest story train. Um, but um, uh, but at the same time, you don't. Um, It gets broken up much more. It's harder to kind of keep straight the narrative of the, you know, of the main, uh, yikes, of the main quest itself, um, as as opposed to just, you know, to to all the landscape quests. Okay, so it's time to defeat things. Now let me see if I can manage this. Um, complicated. Okay, so here's my charge. Oh, oh, charge. Like, I charge you to deliver this message, not charge in the sense of I'm 
running fast at you with my weapon in hand kind of charge. Okay. Um, hang on. It says there's an enemy up here, but I didn't see it. Oh. All right. So let's see what happens here. I'm going to charge him. Proclaim loudly the return of the true king of Gondor. Uh, and he just beats. Okay. So in, I am in fact going to have to find 12 total lurkers. Four to defeat and eight to send running off with news. Well, that's kind of fun. Okay, cool. All right, then let me queue up a lore question. Okay. Um, Mrs. Manreek was asking earlier, why were the hobbits of the Shire so against the river folk? Did the story of Smeagol slash Gollum haunt their superstitions? Okay, so Mrs. Manreek, I assume that what you mean by that is like the brandy bucks, right? So I, I think that what she's alluding to here is the, um, the sort of obvious prejudice against the folks of the Marish and Buckland that we see particularly in um, uh, particularly in the gaffer and his cronies uh, there in the ivy bush um, in chapter one of The Hobbit. And uh, so my answer is no. I, 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 no, I don't believe that that has anything to do with it. I believe that um, what we are seeing there is mere parochialism. The entire reason that they don't, that they sort of dislike and distrust the hobbits of Buckland is the fact that the hobbits of Buckland are far away. And they have the assumption that everything unfamiliar to them is therefore. Oh man, how do I get up there? Can I get up here? Oh, good. Um, that anything unfamiliar to them is strange, queer, and therefore probably, you know, possibly even dangerous, or certainly, or even unnatural, right? That's another word that they use. Let's see, is he going to throw himself off the cliff when I warn him? No, he's going to run right past me. Okay. Um, so, yeah, and the, the way that we can see this, that is, like, how we can know for sure that that's the case. Oh, got a little camp going on here. Nobody's home, though. Just the horses. Okay. Don't know whose camp this is. Where am I? Okay. I'm where orcs are meant to be. So I'm near... This is the road to South Athelion. Right down over here. Okay, so this is the north-south road. Well, why don't I head back over towards the uh, river, the, towards towards the river? See if I can find some more lurkers this way. There's one. Um. Okay, so the the reason I am uh, so confident that it is mere proximity or lack of proximity that's the problem is that we see that the converse is true. Remember, uh, Farmer Maggot states as like an obvious fact that folks are queer up at, up in Hobbiton. I mean, he says almost the same thing in almost the same words, um, as the gaffer and his friends say about the people of Buckland and the Marish. Meanwhile, um, the narrator has told us that 
there is, in fact, very little difference between, you know, the hobbits of these different parts of the Shire. Um, and so, so there isn't even a real difference that is being, um, I wonder what the range on my, on my taunting is. Hmm. That's pretty, pretty long range right there. All right, I've just got one more. And I should have one up here. Um, anyway, yeah. So, and this seems to me, um, so again, I, I don't believe that this is part of the, um, I don't believe that this is a reflection of some kind of historical thing. This is a reflection of the current status of um, uh, the current status of the Shire. Um, some of the sort of problems of the Shire. The Shire had become sheltered. It had become insulated. And the fact that they view even other hobbits that live, you know, just like 20 miles away um, the fact that they view even those people as strange, suspicious, and probably untrustworthy, in a sense, kind of prepares us for the Hobbit's relationship with the outside world. Um, because if, if the gaffer would view even... Um, you know, Farmer Maggot and vice versa as somehow suspicious. Um, then how are they going to view people in the outside world? How would they view... Um, how would people in the non-Sam Gamgee category view elves or dwarves or even the men of Bree? Um, we see Sam's uh, uncertainty and distrust when he's in Bree. Um, even though Tom Bombadil recommended The Prancing Pony, he's like, maybe there are some hobbits around here that would take us in, right? Rather than taking the risk of trusting, you know, this human and his large and intimidating in. Um, so... Okay, I'm just gonna. I'm. I'm uh, oh man, the the lurkers and the enemies in North Athelion don't cross over. I was kind of hoping they would. Anyway, um, we will see. Of course, this kind of parochialism in lots of other places. Um, in Rohan, for instance, it's very similar to the reaction in Rohan about the elves about um, about Lothlorien right they're afraid of what they don't understand and of what they don't know um, th the extent to which the Shire is completely closed off ignorant of the outside world and um, you know and therefore not in a great place right this is this is important. This is an important element of the scene at the, of sort of setting the scene at the beginning. Um, and of course it's going to become, uh, a really important sort of dynamic on the return. And one of the ways in which the Shire is most obviously enriched by the return of the four travelers and the life that happens after that, they remain, set apart in the sense that humans can't come in and settle there according to Aragorn's law um, after, of course, after the War of the Ring. Um, but nevertheless, they now have contact with the outside world and know more about the outside world. And I can't help but wonder if we are actually supposed to understand that... Um, 
the attitude. I, I, I wonder what added, what impact the kind of broadening of horizons of the hobbits of the Shire that, you know, that, that, that they bring, that the travelers bring when they, you know, Sam and Pippin and Mary, when they return, um, I mentioned them because they're the ones who stick around, of course, and have a long-term impact uh, on the on the culture of the Shire. I wonder what kind of impact that has on relations between the Marish and Hobbiton, for instance. Um, is that distrust of people who live, you know, 20 miles away, is, is that going to be decreased over time by increasing contact with Gondor hundreds of miles away? You know, will, will it change their perspective in some way? Um, we don't know that, um, but I kind of suspect, actually, that it that it will, and that even what we see of the, like, Sam's for, forestry work and everything, um, there is this, the cleanup, the scouring of the Shire itself brings about a kind of greater sense of unity among the hobbits, a greater sense of identity, not identity like by neighborhood, but identity of the Shire as a whole. It broadens them all by itself, even before their contact with the further outside world. Um, anyway, so I, um, uh, yep. Yeah. So that's, um, uh, I, I, I think it's, it's an important dynamic that we see shift from the beginning of the Lord of the Rings to the end of the Lord of the Rings. So I believe, Mrs. Manrique, that that's what Tolkien was sort of establishing um, at the start there. Ah, Druid's Fire has popped in and changed the title for me. Thank you, Druid's Fire. Yes, that was actually kind of fun, Angbar. When you are able, speak with Arundel near the statue of the Fallen King. He is in charge of the statue repairs and will be able to put you to work in assisting our efforts there. Oh, good. Let's do that. I was hoping I could get a jump on the defeating foes throughout North Athelion element of the next epic, but that's okay. We're going to work here at the crossroads first. Will you help bear my burden, friend? Yes, I am Arendal. As you see, the repairs are behind schedule. Orcs have defiled the statue, removed the head, and scrawled unintelligible markings all over it. First, these orcish poles will need to be removed. Then that vile head must come down. If you are able, the statue's original head should be retrieved and placed back atop its shoulders. Hey, I can carry an entire statue of Elendo in my back pocket, so I absolutely am the person you want to help with this. Okay. Remove the orcish po Oh! The spikes? Yeah, sure, the spiky things. That's, yeah, decorated by skulls. Yep. How am I destroying that? Just with dynamite, apparently. Okay, that's great. No problem. We'll go about removing the orcish poles. Oops, sorry, just interrupted myself. Destroying. Boom. All right. Aragorn, you're going to love this. So glad you're watching. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna really love the improvements that we're about to make here. Okay, so the orcs are extremely dedicated uh, to their decoration. You know, they haul these things around so they can decorate wherever they go with them. So yeah, it's. Uh, um. I probably have to get up there, right? All right. Let's go up there and blow up that orc head. It's going to be... Oh, look at this. Nice. Okay, so what is that? It is part of the thing. Is that metal? Yeah, they made a fake crown. Is it supposed to represent the Iron Crown, do you think? Do you think it's that like it's it's kind of an Iron Crown mock-up? It's not a very good one, if so. I'm surprised they gave it a crown, actually. But anyway, let's blow it up. Boom. 
Okay. All right, no problem. Retrieve the statue's original head. Okay, where'd it go? Oh, yeah, there it is. Now, we've got to do this while keeping the crown of flowers intact. Okay, put this thing in your back pocket. Your foot. There we go. Now, the one thing that I wish is that it appeared in my inventory. That, like, in my inventory, it would be, like, colossal statue of, like, head of colossal statue or something in my inventory. That'd be awesome. All right. Oh, I gotta face the target here. There we go. Oh, they didn't clean the blood off? He still's got like a blood stain by his neck. Looks like somebody's cut his throat. And the flowers are mostly still there. Must be hard to haul that thing around without disturbing the flowers at all. Excellent, Arendel. I didn't expect to get to do all this single-handedly. Let us help you bring glad yeah, things, friend. No problem. One alone would have put us ahead of schedule. Perhaps we shall be allowed to march on from this place thanks to you. Hey, look, you came to an expert errand runner. Do can we clean off the statue too? Can is that There's still much to be done before this statue is repaired. Our workers are in need of some good stone to fill the cracks. Would you retrieve some for us? You should be able to find suitable stones in Osgiliath. Oh, dear. While you are at the river's edge, you might also take up some good water with which to clean these foul scrawlings off the statue. I am all about it. Collect four, what, buckets? or? Okay. Ooh, but I'm going to get pauldrons of the reclaimed city. Cause I, now, so what do I have here? Don't I have some reclaimed city thing? Now I got my wrath gear. Still got my braces of the Anorian tree. Never got braces of wrath. Helmet, right? My helmet is the helmet of the reclaimed. The right, the one thing you can't see because of my cloak. Hang on, hang on. Uh, right, there it is. Looking kind of cool, actually. Okay. Um, yeah, all right. So I'm going to get my, my pauldrons. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, exactly. A rock that size probably weighs several hundred tons, but that is as nothing, uh, for Grifflet's inventory. Okay, great. Let's do it. Woohoo. Fixing up the statue. Come on, Aragorn. It's a big improvement, right? Look at that. I mean, yeah. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's going to be even better. Wait till you see. Okay, so we've got to go all the way down to the river, huh? No problem. Uh, no, I'm not going to war steed it. And you're right, Drow Snake. Roherring did get some new threads. You are right. If the statue is meant to be a specific king, Drow Snake, it's not mentioned in the text. Um, I mean, I'd be a little surprised if it weren't. I mean, I would think it'd be a little strange for the people of Gondor to be like, we're going to erect a statue of generic king. Right? I mean, like, that'd be a little bit weird when they've had so many kings. Um, so I presume that it's a statue of someone in particular. Uh, but as I say, it never says in the text whom it might be. All right. Okay. We're gonna... We're gonna dismount now, and we're gonna stealth up we don't want to fight anybody and waste time. So we're going to go and we're going to collect stone and we're going to collect water and we're going to come straight back. And if we're very, very lucky, we'll be able to uh,
Yeah, if we're very, very lucky, we're going to be able to, uh, like, a mithril coin back. Okay. Down by the river. Oh, I forgot that that took me out of still. Oh, a rat? Really? Okay. All right, so... Let's see what we find here. No, and it's, this water does not look attractive. I have high standards for, you know, the grade of river water with which I will deign to scrub off a statue. You know what I mean? Like you can't be, you really can't be too particular about these things. It's sure possible, Drow Snake, that it's uh, Isildur, since it's on the crossroads that led to his realm. Um, that's very possible. Um, I don't think that that, like, settles it or something, you know. Um, I mean, it's certainly possible that it could be others as well. But, um, but yeah, sure, certainly possible. Oh, hey, look, okay. Now, that... That is an attractive patch of water right there. Yes, sir. And I like the look of that one over there as well. <laughs> so JJ says, there are so many statues in Minas Tirith. Uh, perhaps this is the statue of the Unknown King, uh, in case they missed one. Um, <laughs> it's you know, it's, it's so easy to do, right? It's so easy to do. Okay, so it's pretty wise of me, I have to admit, to um, get the water on the upstream side of Osgiliath, right? That way any lurkers and orcs and rats and stuff cannot befoul it before I pick it up. I don't know what I'm carrying this in, but it's fine. I'm just putting it in my backpack, and that's all right. Okay, so now we go down there to get rocks, eh? No problem. Let us re-stealth. Hey, yeah, that didn't work. Okay, there we go. Hit the wrong button. Okay. And what? Ball and nuisances. Okay, then there should be stairs down on the other side. If not, I'll jump. Yes. Great. Okay. Now, let us see if we can find the right kind of stone. Yeah, Phil, I was also a little bit surprised to find that I could swim around in the Anduin here without any, you know, coming to any mischief. I thought I remembered that that used to be a problem. Is it only beforehand? Like, is the river more hostile to me while Osgiliath is still in the hands of the enemy? But once Osgiliath has been reclaimed by the king, now the river obeys the will of the king and doesn't harm me anymore? Knowing me to be a faithful agent of the king, maybe that's the situation. Or maybe they just nerfed the river in the latest update. But I like to think that it's obeying implicitly the will of Alessar, its rightful king. Aha! A now, that is a stone of remarkable purity. Yes, yes. I am a bit of a masonry snob here. And I'm not going to apologize for it. We are going to take only stones of pronounced 
and palpable purity. Nope. But soft. Across these thrashing rapids lies another pure stone. Come on. There we go. Don't try to keep me from the pure stone. Okay, good, good. I was expecting it to be down by the water. But no, that's fine. It's fine. There's another one here? Or is it the one I just got? Is the map remembering the other one? I think that that other pure stone just left an indelible mark upon the map. Yeah, I think that's what happened. All right, let's head back over here. Okay. Let's see. Trying to gauge the purity level. I said, but we need to find some loose stone anyway. I'm not going to chisel something away. Oh. Really? So close to the culvert entrance. Ah. It was straight before me all this time. Okay, here it comes. Do we get a mithril coin option? Yes. All right. Arundel. Here we go. Faith alone will not stop the enemy. Thank you. I do have a keen eye for the purity of stone. I will give them to the builders. If you would not mind, use some of that water you collected to clean the posts around the crossroads. Then use the remaining water to clean the scrawls from the statue itself. Clean the... Po oh, those posts. Okay. Yeah. Hang on, I'm trying to make sure I get a before and after here. Oh. Yeah. So the yellow is scum, essentially. I always suspected. Yeah, so we look right along the base there. Boom, yeah. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, I know from looking at the other ruins, the other Gondorian ruins that we've been meeting ever since, like, Enidwife. I've always suspected that that pattern of blue and and yellow was really just some kind of uh, foul accretion. Are we going to do anything about how wonky some of these pillars are? Or are we just going to... Like, so the good news is... Or the bad news is they're still leaning and about to fall over. But the good news is that they look nicer so that when they fall over, they'll be much more impressive looking. Hey, that's fine. That is just fine. It's going to clean the... No, not the, the wall there. That wall is apparently fine. Okay, great. Now, this is what I've been looking forward to scrubbing how do I clean cleansing stat cleaning statue boom oh I thought I'd get more than one just one shot are they all gone look at that oh no more but now, hang on a second how let's this is an attention to detail check 
Did I get that little bit of blood by the neck of the king? Come on now. No, I didn't. Come on. Can't leave that. That's going to bother me. Hey, it's back. Would you help bear my burden? Well, it was briefly as if the enemy of the the army of the enemy never laid hands upon the statue. Well, that's a little disappointing. Is the scum back on the pillars too? No, those are still nice. What the heck? This looks so nice just a minute ago. I mean, I get it when, you know, mobs are restored. Like, you know, when you kill the boss and then, you know, two minutes later the boss is back. Like, that's fine. I can suspend disbelief to that extent, but that's, that's a little disappointing. Ah, the statue has come along nicely. I am certain you were a great help and an example to the men. Almost as good, a, good an example as I was when I... Have I ever told you the story of how I didn't run in front of the army of the dead? I don't know if you've heard this or not. Okay, shoulder guards of the reclaimed city. Yes. Agility based. Okay. While you were working on mending the statue of the fallen king, <clears throat> I spoke to Mithrandir and Lord Aragorn. They require your assistance on a matter, but would not tell me its nature. Mithrandir will meet you at the road that leads to the Morgul Vale, near the crossroads, as soon as you are able. Okay? Hang on, let me just, uh, let me just equip these puppies, because that's an upgrade. Right? Yeah, it's an armor upgrade anyway. Okay. And when I add uh, some essences, it'll become... Hang on, you know what I haven't done in ages? Enhancement runes. I'm not sure I remember how to do those. Wow, well, I'll figure it out later. Okay, it's fine. It's all good. So, meet with Mithrandir before I head off to Northern Athelion, pretend the statue still looks as nice as it did. So I bet that's what happened. This is what I'm going to tell myself. What I'm going to tell myself is that um, the blood up by the neck of the statue was cleaned off. But when I went up there, it had reset the whole statue. So it didn't look like it. But like in my imagination, the whole thing will be clean. Will you accompany us on this small errand? My friend, I fear while we march north towards the Black Gate, the forces of Minas Morgul may cause trouble by sneaking up and biting at our heels. We must take measures to ensure that this does not happen. Will you accompany us on this small errand? We could use another set of wary eyes and able hands. It is not generally safe or wise to so much as set foot within the Morgul Vale. Yeah, are we going to... Do I get to set fire to the to the Morgul? Oh, I want to burn the flowers. Can I burn the flowers? Let me burn the flowers and destroy the bridge. The west. I have taken it upon myself to lead Aragorn and his trusted friend into the Morgul Vale. Nice. I can't wait to go to the Valley of the Vampires over here. That's going to be awesome. There's Torak Hungol. Fantastic. This is excellent. Okay. I know not for what purpose these flowers grow here. Our destination lies further ahead, Griffin, but I ask that you take a moment to hear my counsel. The flowers that line the road have fallen to some corruption. Pray for some dark force. I suggest that we burn these evil blooms in order to prevent their spread beyond the Vale into Ithilien and Gondor. Totally. Burn these noisome blooms so their evil cannot spread to the others. Absolutely. Oh man, I'm so looking forward to Minas Morgul. So Minas Morgul is what's next for Wigand, my uh, 
my my lead uh, alt, my 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 OG alt, who's been doing the epic. He's right up to the edge of Minas Morgul and getting ready to go through it some day. Um, okay. Noisome flowers. Be gone. Oh. Encroaching fear. Huh? All right, you'd think that uh, Gandalf might bestir himself a little bit here, but that's okay. Don't worry about it, Gandalf. We got it. Oh, okay. So some noisome flowers have spirits living in them and some don't, huh? Oh, look at that. Look at Aragorn being all proactive and such. Okay, thanks, Aragorn. Oh. Two um, non evil spirit infested flower patches in a row. I assume this one will have them. Yeah, it's okay. Come on, Aragorn. Could you tank those things again, please? No. Oh. They just ran off, huh? Okay, so that's how Gandalf takes a hand. He just states that they're going to go away, and they just do. Okay. Cool. Grab the stable? Okay. I'll, oh, wait, is that it? Okay, hang on. I'll go grab the stable then. That stable right there? Um, there's no stable here. It says this is a stable that I'm standing on. Oh, look at that. There's another dude up here. Let's see. Uh, the stable master up there on Kirithungal? Is that the one? All right, so this is Gollum's path, huh? Nice beacon. Oh, no, you're referring to the one I was trying to get that isn't there? Yeah, it looks like it won't let me do it in the instance. Okay, no worries. The smoke of their burning is foul, but it will pose less harm than leaving those evil blooms would have done. Let us press forward. Okay. Woof. Boy, when Gandalf presses, he really... Holy cow! Gandalf is like... Aragorn is like huffing and blowing back here, trying to... Yikes! Gandalf has buns of steel. Come with me, Aragorn. We will meet you at the bridge. Yeah, you're leaving Aragorn in the dust. Hang on, I gotta get on my horse, Gandalf. Gandalf is the fastest NBC ever. 
He's the fastest NPC since Sarah Oakheart. Okay. Where's it? Where's where? We left the king. Where's it? Where's it gone? Okay. Well, let's look at this uh, unhappy river. And we've got the the little bridge and the bigger bridge. Okay. Looking imposing. That is the city of Minas Morgul. Once it was Minas Ithil, the Tower of the Moon, but no longer. Do you see the arched structures that cross the river to the east? Yes. You mean bridges? Is that the structure in question? <laughs> that is the bridge we must destroy if we are to keep the foes from, Morgul, from the Morgul Vale from crossing into Ithilien. Okay. I'd seen the bridge. Yikes! I'm like getting out of breath just watching. Okay. These lands once belonged to Gondor, but the corruption of Mordor has befouled them. Gandalf, lecture and sprint at the same time. I feel eyes upon us, Grifflet. Remain watchful. Maybe it's Aragorn, because we have no idea where he is. Oh, there he is. Okay. We're not alone. Remain on your guard. Why are we alone? I feel a watchful presence. It hates us and it fears us. We must be quick. Okay. Boom! Oh, yikes! Whoa! Oh, here it comes. Oh, man. Well, that's going to be annoying later when we want to get in there, but that's okay. Woof. Okay. It is strange, is it not, to think that dark citadel was built the hands of men. So true. We must not tarry here. That dark citadel was once Minas Ithil, the Tower of the Moon, but it has not been called by that name for a terrible span of years. It is the fortress of the Nazgul now, and none dare go that way. Thanks to the power and wisdom of Mithrandir, our work this day will make it more difficult for our foes to assail Gondor by this road, and that is a work done well. All right. The watchful eyes. I thought we were going to have some combat over here, but no. All right. Cool. Let us return. We have done what we could and should tarry no longer. Okay. Yep. We might want that bridge someday, but it's fine. It's fine right now. It's in the book that they destroy the bridge, so. All right, hang on. I, I'm back in the same spot now, aren't I? So in theory, that stable master that wasn't there should be there? Oh, that looks more promising. There he is. Okay. Now then. Wow. Man, you can get lots of places from here. <laughs> one hundred pla one hundred percent places I haven't been. Okay. Including us, Gilead? Huh. That's, oh, minimum level 110. That's why. I am still uh, a few XP shy of uh, traveling by those. No problem. Okay. 
Now, okay, I just have to talk to Gandalf again. Make sure there's nothing else to do here at the crossroads. But I suspect... Oh, yeah. I think when I hand this one in, I'm done with the crossroads. Um, yeah, I'm oh, sorry. I uh, meant to stop there, Gandalf. To not trying to ghost you there and just blow past. Okay. With the bridge in ruins, the threat of those in Minas Morgul is much diminished. Totally agree. It would be difficult for great numbers to make it across the swift currents of the Morgul of the Morgul Luin. I am, however, concerned about those noxious flowers we came across. No good can come of such things. You should speak with that prattling Angbor and let him know that our work here is done. I believe Aragorn is ready to move the forces further north. Okay. That prattling Angbor. He called him prattling? I guess uh, maybe he's uh, getting a little tired of the uh, fearless shtick as well. Angbor the fearless. Did I mention... That I'm that I in fact have no fear. You went to the Morgul Vale and did not invite me? Well, I suppose I had plenty here to oversee and keep busy with. Many things that other people were afraid of, but not myself. I must give orders and have my men ready. Absolutely. Well, that gave me a lot of things. The road through North Athelion will be difficult. We must rely on Lord Faramir's rangers to lead us among those hills safely. Why don't you speak with Mablung and Osgiliath about this? Well, because I was hoping to go north. That's why. But, fine. I can do that. <laughs> Drosnik says, So many were afraid to stand next to these herbalists. Not I. And <laughs> poor the fearless. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> These are some of the most intimidating herbalists in the kingdom, I will have you know. But you will see <laughs> how I just remain here without a qualm. But sure, Gandalf, I'd be happy, or Angbor, I'd be happy to run back here to Osgiliath, trampling many people. All right, Meblung. Where's Damron? Though I know Aragorn not, a ranger will not lead you astray. The rangers of Athelion are here to do our part in the march. You remember Thorindal, do you not? He has been... No. Where did I meet Thorindal? He has been scouting in North Athelion for some time now. I have arranged for him to meet you near the crossroads. You are to travel with him ahead of the host of the West. First, however, you should speak with Angbor and relay these plans. Back to Angbor. Okay, no problem. So Angbor says, the plan is for the rangers of Athelion to guide us, but go talk to, to Mablung, and he says, yes. So the plan is, one of the rangers of Athelion is going to guide you. Go and tell Angbor about this plan. Okay, Angbor, I have shocking news for you. I hope you are braced. Because you might find it startling. Not not that you ever get startled by anything, Angbor, but... Good, good. I am glad we shall have the rangers for guides. Please go on ahead. I will remain here and make sure that no one becomes frightened in your absence. Uh, sorry, to make sure all our supplies and men are accounted for and ready to march. We shall meet again soon, I am sure of it. And when we do, you will not find me afraid of anything. Because I am immune to fear. Did I mention that? Um, oh yeah, down in Barhur. I figured he must be down in Barhurin. I just didn't remember which one he was. Which one was he? I, uh, I'm. Uh... See, I remember being in Barhurin for a long time. Okay, he's a bald guy. 
Thurandal. He was one of the main quest givers, like in that central keep area, right? Anborn sidekick, right, right. Okay. Um, hey there, Thurandal. It's ten minutes early, and I've achieved my goal. Be wary, my friends. Evil spoils these grounds. Griffith, thank you for meeting me here. Much has happened since you passed through South Athelion. For our parts, we rangers have ever moved, striking at the enemy where we might. Barhuran, alas, could not be defended and was lost. Men, too, we have lost, but I shall not dwell on that now. Come, we have much to discuss if we are to shepherd an army through the lands of North Athelion. I know, it's down to you and me, right? All right, just watching my XP. I'm still okay. It is good to see you again, Griffith. Even after such a battle, the memory of your deeds in South Athelion has not left me or my company. Lord Faramir is safe and heals within Minas Tirith, and my captain, Anborn, has returned to the refuge of Hanath Anun with most of our company. The Dark Lord has not taken his defeat lightly, and he has sent his forces into North Athelion to strike before the host of the West can reach the Black Gate. My company, and I, my company and I would have much use for a burglar of your skill, especially after such a victory as has been won against the enemy. There are a few more matters I wish to speak of here, but then I would ask that you meet me at the Baths of Island Varen. That's a little cheeky, isn't it? Far to the north along the roadway. Will you aid me, my friend? Yes, but I'm not taking a bath with you until I get to know you much better than I currently know you. I just want to make that perfectly clear right away. Um, aid him with many as many of his tasks as you're able. Okay. So it's it's just like at my discretion. Like I can help him a bit or whatever. After the great battle, we had much to consider, my friend. The orcs claimed Bar Aroth, and from the north, the Kundalar struck and made inroads from Dagorlad. Where the rest that fled from the battle have gone, I do not know for certain, but I fear many may have found new refuge within North Athelion. In these dark times, I count myself fortunate to have your trust, and I give you mine in return. I would ask that you search the shores of the Anduin to the west, the hilltop to the north of Bar Eroth, and the foothills of the Ethel Duoth, the Mountains of Shadow, for signs of our foes. When you have finished your patrol, meet me to the north at the old baths of Island Verin. And it is there we shall speak more on what is to be done in the coming days. Okay. Do you see what the orcs have done to Athelion, my friend? They have invaded our lands and burned many of our mighty trees, and yet it was not enough to leave it at that. Dark spires have burst from the earth. Really? Burst? And the ground surrounding them suffers some foul malady. I have seen the orcs gather beneath them, speaking wildly in their vile tongue and waving their staves in a frenzy. Fascinating. I do not know what to make of this, Griffith, but I fear something terrible stirs in Mordor. If we are to keep Athelion free of foes and the enemy's influence, we must destroy those spires and cast out the orcs. Okay. Spires, huh? I had thought our foes bestead on the fields of the Pelennor, but I am proven wrong, it seems. Bested. Bested on the fields of the Pelennor. Yes, indeed. Um, the Easterlings and Haradrim fought to the last, but many of the orcs did not share their convictions and fled the field. The Anduin is swift and wide, yes, but even it could not drown them all. To the north there is a great stone ruin that is known as Bar Eroth, and the orcs have claimed it. We launched an ill-fated attempt to seize it, and lost many rangers in the process. Our men were battle-weary, and we were foolish to charge headlong into their numbers. The orcs have taken their skulls, and now hack away at the surrounding trees with no regard for Gondor's garden. We must rout them before they become a greater threat to the host of the West, and also to avenge my kin. Go, Griffith, and I shall meet you far to the north at Island Varen. Okay, so we've got to defeat orcs. I've got to destroy skull piles and destroy orcish axes. Okay. All right, so I've got the axes, I've got the patrolling, and i got the defilers and the duoth spires. Right. So the duoth spire thing reminds me of... Um, Let's see, what do we got here? 
Oh man, all these things are way down here in the south, huh? Bar Aroth is not too far from here. Island Varen is basically next up after that. So these are the quests around Bar Eroth. And then we'll get to Island Varen and do another set there, huh? Okay. All right. So I believe... Bridger of War. Huh. Yep, I completed the quests. So, what do I have left? I'm looking forward to the Ruins of North Affilia, indeed. I uh, figured to complete that. And then I've got the... Um, Quests of North Athelion and the North Athelion's Roaming Enemies deed. I'm not going to do that one, so I can't imagine I'm going to do that one. So it's just one more set of uh, quests then, North Athelion. All right. North Athelion and then the Wastes. And I have, as of now, achieved my goal for the stream. We are in North Athelion and past the crossroads. Hang on, I'm going to dismount here because... All right. Um, however, I believe... So I saw Druid's Fire earlier, but I think she was just visiting. My understanding is she's not going to be able to stream today. Um, so I should... Who's this? An Athelian Defiler. Who should count at least twice. Plus I'll get a new one from him, it looks like. While adventuring in North Athelion, you have come upon many of the enemy's forces in the old ruins of North Athelion and in the footholds of the Ethel Duath. The enemy's forces suffered a setback in Gondor, but the Dark Lord is far from bested. You should defeat the enemy's forces and make clear. Okay. Just defeat a bunch of orcs. Okay. And that one's a repeatable. Oh, hey, look! It's a Duath spire. Boy, that's much bigger than I thought it would be. Is that another one down there? They don't look like very dangerous. They just kind of look like rocks. Anyway, what I was saying, what I was about to say was, so in Exploring the Lord of the Rings, we've um, been looking at Gandalf at the doors uh, of Durin. And um, of course, we just got last week, I think, uh, to where Gandalf refers to spells, the number of spells in the tongues of orcs that he knows, right? Um, and uh, that's um, that's what's making me think of here. Um, the idea that orcs, so the whole kind of like defiler concept seems pretty legit, really that orcs would have the ability to perform some kind of ritual magic sounds like in keeping with what, you know, Gandalf has said um, in referring to orc magic. And that um, Is there another Duoth Spire up here? Oh, there's just like a random wandering defile or not attached to a Duoth Spire. Anyway, and, and that, if they did have spell magic of that kind, that they would use it to, um, you know, to corrupt and defile things. I mean seems to me to check out. So yeah, I like that. Okay. Wow. Alright, so the grip of Mordor, right, that's the enemies just killed 20 enemies. Alright, well, I'm sure that'll happen. Um, in fact, it'll definitely happen because it looks like the Defilers and the Orcs and Bar-Eroth don't overlap, so there's 20. Cool. 
So free quest completion. Love it. Um, anyway, I've got... Um, let me do the rest of the defilers here. I have a abrasive defilers. Okay. Okay. All right, Druid's Fire. Yeah, you're there between panels. That's what I was thinking. Okay, so I think I'm gonna I'm gonna since I was late on account of my little dog's spa day today, I think I'm gonna um I'll I'll let's do uh, end in Druid's Fire's absence. Let's do an extra half hour here, and I'll make up for that half hour I missed. So let's see. Maybe we can get as far as Island Varen and um, um, meet our now very intimate friend at the baths. So are there more of those Duroth spires down here? I didn't see any more, but they're pretty... Oh, no, here's another one right up here. So Okay. I only need... How many do I need? Two more, right? Three more spires. Two more defilers. Oh, right, because there were two defilers at the other one. Okay, no problem. So that completes two quests. So I've got to, let's see. I'm going to sneak up and I'm going to destroy this guy's Duoth Spire without bothering him. <laughs> Did it. Okay. So now I'm going to go back down. Yeah, I'm going to go back down and Oh wait. I don't have to go back down. I thought to complete chapter 5 there I needed to go back to Aragorn, but I don't. Uh find the ranger and camp at Hanath Anun. Okay. Fine. Fine. Good. Okay, so what's the green looming enemy? Who's the looming it? Oh, that was just rude. Um, oh, the patrols. Okay, fine. Let's patrol. All right. So we're patrolling just right around Bar Arath, huh? All right. Maybe I will do this from... Maybe I'll do this on foot instead of attempting to do this on horseback. Nice blue flowers, which are absolutely not infested with evil spirits. That's good. The flowers around here are nice. I'm supposed to go up there? Great. <sighs> How far around do I have to go to get up there? Let me try the other side. What's up with this bush? Overgrown branches? What happened? What? A 
As you explore North Athelion, it becomes apparent that roadways which were once well-traveled have become overgrown and challenging to traverse. If the host of the West is to pass through these lands, they shall have need of a clearer path. You should clear the roadways of North Athelion of overgrown branches and aid in the advance of the host of the West. Okay. That's cool. I can do that. Hey, sorry, I, I thought um, that was like for a quest I already had, and I was a little confused there for a moment. And there's nothing like... I bet you I'm going to be flushing orcs out of some of these, probably. Destroying. Okay, I think... Yes. Here's my patrol. My patrol point is up here. Oh, what's that? A prowler. Just a wolf, right? Okay, apart from the wolf, is there anybody else up here? Discover the mangled remains of a ranger who appears to have fallen a great distance. Oh dear. He got chucked down from up there, did he? Okay. Patrol to the hilltop to the north of, of Bar Aroth and the shores of the Enduin. Right. Let me run back down and start clearing some brush. Don't need blackberries. There we go. I know I'm headed south again, but I saw that there were a couple of overgrown branches down here. Oxlip. I wonder if that's important. But I don't have an Oxlip quest currently, so... Okay, so... Yep, that was the last of the southerly branches. Okay, so that's Bar Ammon up the hill there. Is it Ammon? Aroth. Bar Aroth up the hill. Okay. Uh, Oxlip are the infamous flowers. They're barter currency. Okay. So I only need them if I'm going to be trying to grind for barter material, which I just never do. Vetchling, I assume. These are all also other larkspur Horsetail, goodness, there's all kinds of flowers round about. Okay, Ocalypse and about 47 other flower types, yeah. Yep. So, uh, so when this first came out, there was a lot of flower grinding, was there, for barter purposes? I assume I can pick them because I can um, I can uh, target them which is a little annoying actually because like when I hit the delete key I'm getting all these like random flowers instead of you know the uh, bushes that I'm looking for okay how are we doing Good. Still need four more bushes. Bar Eroth is coming. So what else am I doing up here? Defeat orcs in Bar Eroth. Destroy skull piles. Okay, so... What? Already passed it? 
Let us explore into Bar Eroth. Since I have specific quests for it. What's this? An axe! Oh, I'm supposed to destroy axes. Hang on. Right, because if I destroy the axes, they'll stop chopping down the mighty trees. Treebeard would appreciate this quest. So when I get up to turn in quests, remind me about my XP because it'll probably be okay. But all right, let's find the skull piles first. Who is this guy and why is he half submerged in the rock? They're actually managing to injure me. I guess when I just tank for it once, like a little guardian, that happens. Okay. But I needed to kill a bunch of them anyway, so I shan't worry about it too much. But let me look for it. There. Grifflet is not having a very good stealth day, I will say. Okay, this is not a huge ruin. And I've already been half of it, and there's only one pile of skulls. See, look, okay, I'm going to try to pick the Warkspur. Yes, I can. Oh, you get extract from it? Well, as long as it's only in... Fine. I see. Yikes. Okay. Well, I'm not doing extract, so I don't care. Just leave that guy alone. I thought it was an unintended pile, an unattended pile of skulls, but I just didn't see this guy. Okay, what do we got here? This is uh, skull pile three. the axe. Is it down a level? That's not helpful. Horsetail, that's even least less helpful. A lavish chest? Is that a 
crafting thing? Yeah, it's a scholar's thing. Fine. Okay, there's an axe over here. There's a lot of unnecessary points on that axe. It's like an axe saw combo. I thought this guy looked like he was guarding a pile of skulls. Alright, let's go downstairs. Lots of flowers, lots of loot, pile of skulls that I can probably get while this guy's back is turned. Tears. You know what surprises me, really? Buckthorn! Sorry. Watership down. Excitement there. Buckthorn, of course, is the name of one of my favorite rabbits in Watership Down. Um... Lots of lavish chests. Okay. Pretty sure this is where I already was. What a lovely view of Osgiliath this place must have had. Their vocabulary is really so limited. And they're all really upset about Saruman. Like, it really seems like an, a, a fairly unhealthful uh, obsession at this point. Like, let it go, guys. Just let it go. Yeah, that they would have an ambivalent relationship with the Nazgul makes sense. That's... Oh, I thought this said travel now. All right, we completed the grip of Mordor. Oh. That's a two pile of skulls batch, huh? That's great. One more. 
One more pile of skulls. And oh, three more axes. Okay. Excellent. Final pile of skulls. Oh, I almost got it before he interrupted me. gigantic bear patrolling that by that axe. All right. Why doesn't this axe count? Did I already get that axe? Oh, I don't know, but I got two axes in here all of a sudden. Excellent, this only leaves me with one left, but for some reason the axe that's perfectly visible out there doesn't count. Okay. All right, the axe I am missing is in this direction. I shall pursue it. not ox lip. Oof. Okay. Not what I was planning, but that's all right. Excellent. Okay. And now, the looming enemy, just the patrol. I just got to finish my patrolling and go down and clear out those the last of those bushes all right let's get out of here oh look it's the first guy that i fought but he's not submerged in the rock anymore okay this is going great we should be able to get up to the bathhouse where i shall have my uh chaste and neighborly bath uh with my ranger friend. Okay, so in my defense, the reason I didn't clear out these branches is that it's not the way. A hawk is attacking me? Why would a hawk be attacking me? Maybe I look like a rabbit. Well, in his defense, it wouldn't be the first time a hobbit has been mistaken for a rabbit. Okay. So there's that. We have cleared the branches. And now, just the patrol. All right, let me do my patrols. I don't know how like other classes live without this skill. The jumping off thing skill, what's it called? Safe fall? Oh man. Between safe fall and stealth, it's just like, you know, it wouldn't seem like living. You just do a lot of limping, yeah. How 
is adventuring worth adventuring without those two skills? Do I want to stay up? Tell you what, I'll stay up until I don't. Because I don't, goodness knows, I don't want to get back up here if I had to. So just on the outside chance that jumping off is going to lead me into trouble, I'm going to stay up here. Sneaking past the giant uncut down trees, the enormous bears, and other static elements of the scenery. Okay. I think it's about jumping off the cliff time. Oh well, no, I found the gradual, elegant descent here. Okay. We are approaching. Aha! Is it the very eggs? Looks like, yes, it is. Some very eggs here. While exploring the shores of the Anduin, you have discovered a company of very eggs camped upon its bank. Upon closer inspection, you realize it is none other than Jarl Gurthilim. Gurthilm and his men. Despite your terse interactions in Osgiliath, his men do not appear immediately hostile. Hey, he doesn't see me. I thought you guys were going home. This is not home. Why have you come here? Have you come to test our threats? As I said before, we have no quarrel with Gondor and no quarrel with you. Our only concern now is a swift return to Hand. That's why we've only gone about 150 yards since the last time we spoke to you. The supplies you traded on us, Gilead, are of great use to us, but the gold shall not avail us until we are home and far from the reach of Mordor. The Kundalar know nothing of our plan to return to Hand, and indeed it would be best for the both of us if they did not learn of it. The lord that offered us gold in exchange for our services is an unscrupulous fellow, and I would prefer not to keep I prefer to keep his attention elsewhere. The orcs and Kundalar inhab that inhabit these lands are no friend of ours, and for that reason we shall keep to the western shores of the great river. I have a proposal for you, burglar. Keep the Easterlings and orcs distracted, and we shall see you well rewarded. We do not expect to be free of encounters with them, but to have fewer to deal with would be a great boon for my company. Offer me your name and your services, or depart and trouble us no more. Now I'm running errands for the for the for the Variags of Khand. Okay. Okay. Um you give your name to Jarl Gurth Gurthilm and accept the offer to keep the enemy's forces at bay, knowing that the rangers work to the same end. Those that seek to, to deceive my company do not live long enough to realize their mistake. I have not misjudged you, have I? We shall expect to see you again and hear your report near the field of Cormallon. If you do not know it, I would suggest you look for a ring of vibrant trees surrounding a meadow. If beauty were gold, this land would be among the richest. Yeah, I've heard of the fields of Cormallon, though they're not yet famous. But sure, I can meet you there. So what am I meant to do? Meet him. That's it? So he doesn't actually give me any other quests. What? Oh, it's a worm? I thought it was an avonk. Um, uh, okay. So no separate quests, just beat off the predatory raptors that are likely to descend in a fury of feathers upon his camp. Okay. My work here is done then. Okay. So I... No. Ooh, I'm so glad I didn't leave. I didn't quite finish the patrol because I didn't get to the exact same spot. Patrol quests are for this reason one of my least favorite things. Okay. The shore is littered with the bodies of orcs that drowned while fleeing the battle. Do I need to burn them or something? Okay. 
No, that's it, huh? I just, I don't do anything. I just get beat up by hawks, observe the corpses, get a lovely view of Osgiliath from the side. It would look much nicer once, you know, they renovate. And then... No. No. Let's, um... Let's be adventurous. Let's see if we can worst eat it. With my invisibility hat on. <laughs> yes. A bathing invitation and now a proposal. It's true. Griffith is rather in demand this week, isn't he? As an experienced adventurer and the most eligible bachelor in North Ithilien. Okay. Let's see. Hilltop to the north of Bar Aroth. And then I think I'm done with this whole round of quests. But yeah, the thing I dislike about patrol quests... Oops. Hey, Bear, can we get up here? Any old way? Oh, good. Um, is just is the way you have to, like, if you don't step on the exact spot. Like, that one was kind of obnoxious. What is going on? I don't know that I've ever been in that situation with a war steed. You know, trying to get up a hill that it can't. That was uh, more difficult than most times. Okay. We're north of Bear Aroth. This is the hill in question, presumably. I love how my orc hat makes the bears and hawks also not. A heavy shadow hangs over you, but you cannot spy what might have cost it. Really? It's not one of those bears? That's it? That's it. There's a looming shadow. Okay. So hang on. The field of Cormallon. Up there by Kyra Andros. Okay. Okay. So... Uh, both of those last two quests felt a little bit unfulfilling. That is, like, there's not, it's not giving me anything to do, but... Oops, I missed the road entirely, so... That doesn't help. So let's find the road. And then once we find the road, we will head north upon it. There it is. Hark! Lo, the road. Behold. Oh, yeah, lovely. wonder what that was. Is that where the baths are? No, the baths are up at the next river. All right, I've got to watch for anything blinking and glowing so that I don't miss any more landscape quests or fall off a cliff. Okay. Nice little waterfall on a bridge. No! Ugh. Phew! Okay, boy, this is risky. Alright. We're doing fine. What was that shadow business? Was I supposed to see something? Because I didn't see anything. Did, like, a Nazgul fly over me or something? Somebody walk on my grave? What's the, what's the story? I'm 
Okay. I don't know. But, oh, look, it's the baths. Unquestionably. It could have been a well-hidden Mumak. I mean, I've been on the alert. I, I'm surprised that I have not found any Mumak ill. Or rather, that any Mumak... Have, that no, no Mumak has found me. Eilin Varen. As you journey through North Athelion, you come upon a curious sight. A group of rangers of Athelion holding four Haradrim as prisoners. The rangers of Athelion have never been known to take prisoners, so perhaps there is a reason that this party of Haradrim has been spared. You should find the captain of the rangers at Eilin Varen and speak to him about the Haradrim. Yeah, it was my patrol north of Bar of uh, Bar Eroth. Of course, the wiki says in the distance you spy great black wings looming over North Athelion. No, it just said there was like an ominous shadow. I mean, I assume that's what it meant, but... Okay, so it, it was Nazgul flying overhead, was it? Hi there, Thurindal. Just standing guard, are we? All right. I'm watching my XP now. Well, I am glad that many orcs failed in their crossing of the Andu, and I fear we will not soon see the last of the enemy's wraiths and their terrible flying beasts. We shall have to use greater caution in our movements. Not really, on account of we want them to see it. Well, we want them to see the army, but maybe not us, because we're the stealthy scouts. Tracking with you now. Lest we be discovered from above. For my part, I am glad that you remained hidden from their sight. I shall bring these tidings to Captain Anborn at Henneth Anun. Oh, yeah, we'll be fine. XP-wise. So it is done. Fine work, my friend. The orcs burned many of the trees near the crossroads, but none thought to poison the earth like those defilers. In time, Ithilien has always healed its ills. Let us hope this time is no different. I'm sure it's going to be fine. I mourn my fallen brothers, and it wounds me greatly to know their deaths could have been prevented. You have avenged them, my friends, and that is all, my friend, and that is all I can ask. This war has worn us all to the point of breaking, and I fear much of it still lies ahead. Actually, not less than you think, Thurindal. Griffith, soon I shall show you the way to Henneth Anun, and then you shall be you shall truly be one of our number. For those of us that remain to stand against the enemy, we must remain united and trust in our fellows. Okay. I'm glad you have, you have come as I asked. Some of my brethren here appear to have captured a band of Southrons. I cannot understand their purpose in doing so, as the rangers do not often permit prisoners or even guests. I trust that there is... Yes, remember, for those who wander in Athelion, death is our law from the book. I trust that there is wisdom in their actions, but I do not have time to remain here and investigate further. Instead, I leave that task to you. I must return to my captain, Anborn, and tell him of the many things I have witnessed in Athelion and on the Pelinar. I shall continue onward to Henneth Anun, and when you are ready, you should follow in my path. Head north along the roadway, and I will guide you to the refuge. Excellent. Aid the rangers at Island Varen as much as you're able, which is quite a bit. Um, and when you're ready to move on, meet Thurindal along the road to the north. I love how, like, the the quest chains are strongly emphasizing my free will, right? Like, you don't have to, it's okay, you don't have to do them all. Um, okay. Cool. So I'm supposed to talk about the snakes in the trap. I'm still supposed to meet at the field of Cormallon up there. But that'll be after Henneth Anun, of course. Nice. Nice. So let's see, I'm, I'm thinking the sequence. I'm going to go up to Henneth Anun and do some, probably with some landscapes around there. I'll go up through Kirith Negan and then go to Aragorn's camp. From Aragorn's camp, that's probably when he's going to dismiss the faint of heart down to Kair Andros, and I'll probably go with them there through Bar Tarnahair and stuff. Um, I just had a wild hope that perhaps the faint of heart who leave the path 
who don't have the ability to go on to the Black Gate and whom Aragorn in mercy assigns a manful deed within their measure to retake Kara Andros. I'm really kind of hoping that Angbor the Fearless is their leader. Um, but, um, yeah. Yeah. Well, so, no, see, so, yeah. So, Hologro with Kara Andros, I, I'm, because I'm assuming they're going to integrate, the quest line is going to integrate Kyra Andros, is going to integrate this, that story element of the 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 the, the, the faint of heart ones, um, so anyway, okay, cool. Well, Grifflet is just about ready to freeze his XP before he turns level one ten, because everybody else is still level one hundred five. Right, this quest is one hundred five. Yep, yep, we're all still one hundred five up here. So, um. Excellent. Which deed did I complete? Oh. A class deed. Huh. Uh, a tier 7 class deed. Wow. Okay. Better and better. Wow. Okay. Oh, so North Athelion is 105 all the way through. Great. So I'll. Oh, so I should. What is is it? Is it 105 all the way to the Black Gate? Right. Because so the waste is also 105. Because it was still 105 all the way through before the Mordor expansion. Right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So Grifflet is about to hill tortoise up uh, next week, almost certainly. Um, and then um, we will be... Um, then he'll be at 109 until we enter Mordor. Very cool. Okay, so we not only finished Osgiliath, did the whole crossroads, we did a pretty good chunk. You know, the whole south chunk of North Athelion. Not bad. We'll see. We'll certainly get to Henneth Anun next time, I'm sure. And then we'll see if we can complete the Henneth Anun segment and get up to the northern bits of North Athelion. Grifflet making rapid progress here through this version of Endgame uh, to get up towards the Black Gate. Soon, Grifflet will be through the Black Gate and then off into Completionist Mordor, which should be great fun. Excellent. All right. Well, thanks, everybody. Uh, thanks for joining me uh, for this unusually timed stream here today on this unusual day when uh, most of our streamers are away at PAX East this weekend. Um, I, of course, live quite near to PAX East, so I didn't have to travel to go to PAX East. I'm going to uh, be able to say hi to some folks down there this weekend. So anyway, um, uh, I, w I should be here next weekend, um, so I um, I look for. Well, I think there's, I'm a, I'm a little bit uncertain actually. So next weekend, next weekend is my son Matthias's 16th birthday. So or next Friday is, um, and so I will be with him at the DMV uh, as we try to get his driver's license on his um, uh, on his birthday next week, and I don't. It's the DMV. If you don't live in America, take my word. It means that my day will not be my own and I have no idea what my schedule will be. So if I am released in time, then I shall certainly um, uh, stream next week. But we'll see. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you you're right. You've at least seen Zootopia. Yeah, that, th that works, Phil. That works. All right. Thanks, everybody. Maybe I'll see you next week, but I'm not going to absolutely bank on it. We'll see. Uh, thanks, everybody. Uh, see you soon, one way or the other. Bye now. Thanks for joining in on my rambles around Standing Stone's brilliant digital adaptation of Tolkien's world. If you enjoy these adventures, please consider supporting this and other entertaining educational programming by donating at signumuniversity.org fund.